Hello. Um, so I have a question, and um, I have, I don't have a definitive answer, but I'm going to walk you through how I would approach something like that, and maybe you'll find some of the things that you're interested in. Um, when, and I have a, a monitor over here where I'm looking at um, the original email. Um, impact of work ethic and work-life balance on mental health, I think that's going to be studied a lot, but to have an official government or, or maybe even like an NGO from um, countries like China and Japan where the work ethic is like a sense of pride um, and in some case famously dying at your desk is looked at as like an, a, a badge of honor might be tough to find something like that. Um, also in the United States. Um, I think we're more, um, I don't know, be that as it may, I have some resources that might help you find some information of, that talks about those things. But finding the, the actual campaign might be a trick. Let me show you why. Uh, but I'll give you some tools. Google. So if you go to Google, you can type in um, what I call a contextual search. Public health campaign. And then, so whatever your, whatever your context is, is before the colon and then afterwards you can put, any, put anything you want. So I'm going to do work life balance China. Um, so what this means in Google, it's, it uses this context to say, okay, eliminate everything that isn't a public health campaign or related to that. And then in that search find work life balance. Um, so it's kind of a word salad, isn't it? But before the colon, context, after the colon, what you're searching for. Um, sometimes you'll see books. I think Wiley's like a book thing. Um, and I would say before the pandemic, it's going to be kind of like iffy. Might be precedence and historical, but it seems like everyone changed for the mental health angle uh, post-COVID. Um, but, and you could change that in like tools and do it like, let's do a custom range. From, let's look at, so the pandemic, let's do that same search. So now it's narrowing down to those current things. So there might be like wellness market trends or the 996 culture, have you ever heard of that? There's also um, the life lat culture, um, Tang Ping. <laughs> it's usually like a cute, oh, the ones that I've seen, yeah. <laughs> Essentially, it's like, you know, take it easy. You're not, you're not going to live forever. Um, <laughs> I thought the one that I saw had like a, a panda. Oh, there it is. It's the panda bear. Uh, but this is not advocated or in endorsed by the Chinese government because it's kind of like take productivity and make it second tier to your mental health. So it, it might not be what you're looking for. So, um, and I think 996 is another related one. Um, another search that I did was instead of the context being public health campaign, um, this one helped. I looked for public policy. Public policy is another way of saying of like law in general. There's um, the laws talk about a specific direction to go. And here we found um, there's like an overtime policy. These might lead you to find campaigns. So I'd say look in these and see if you can find something. So for example, um, Nikkei, that's like a, I think that's a Japanese uh, media company. But they might have something <laughs> That's cool. Um, so you, you might have to look around for clues. So uh, how do we find that stuff is more in depth? So you could do these same things with like um, the other countries you're looking at, Germany, United States, or just in general. Uh, but that's how I would start. You could also use a tool like Gemini which is an AI that does all the searching and then it returns a regurgitated version of the searching for you. None of these are um, authoritative. It's just AI generated with no um, author. Um, but what public health campaigns 
exist in China related to work-life balance. And it might have the name of specific campaigns. <laughs> there aren't any. So were you, were you looking at and saying, God, I can't find anything? This could be why. Uh, but you can see some of the things that they're saying, well, we already have a work-life balance. It's called a national holiday. Um, so if you don't find anything, you can ask Gemini and see, <laughs> am I not finding anything? Um, how would I find precedents? How would I find things that already exist? Uh, I'm going to show you three things. The library catalog. Um, if you go to the advanced search, and then I'm going to look at a sociology database and a public policy database, which funds things like that. The NGOs should exist in there because they're doing public health campaigns, um, not necessarily a state, not necessarily an NGO, but just kind of like everybody. So let's do public policy or public health. So in this one, it doesn't have a smart search. You have to spell things out and put it in quotes and put an or in between. What that means, public policy in quotes means I want out of everything that you look at, I only want those two words stuck together. So I don't want public here and policy there. The or means if it's not called public policy, is it called public health? What else do we have in your email? Oh, we have the population of college age workers. We'll get to that one in a minute. We don't want to narrow down too far. Um, and then work-life balance, or did we have, oh, we had work ethic. Um, another one you could do, or burnout, because that's like the lack of work-life balance. Is there any other synonyms or related terms to that? Um, and then we could add, we'll do, I'll do Japan this time. This is the one where it's like honorable, or it used to be when I was a kid, it was honorable to die at your desk. You'd hear news reports of somebody who had left work for 48 hours or 72 hours. And at this one, we can sort it by date newest so we don't get the old stuff. And so you can hear social science and medicine. It really cannot be from 1982. That one must have bad metadata. Ooh, you can't have a family if you don't, um, if you can't be home from work. That's another angle. So um, China and Japan are actively looking to increase uh, the number of families having children. So you could look at it as another one. But we'll get random stuff like Kazakhstan. Japanese Journal of Public Health. Older assistant, emotional exhaustion. So it could be that we don't necessarily find campaigns, which is problematic, isn't it? Public health campaign, work-life balance, and let's try Japan or China or Spain or let's try them all or the United States. And then let's have that be, let's see what we find with that. There's two. <laughs> so is it that there might not be a lot of campaigns on this? That could be the deal. But let's Let's dig further in, and let's say that we want um, the title to be Public Health Campaign. And then that can be somewhere else in there. Instead of looking at the country, ooh, there's nothing. How about public policy? I'll do that public health. Okay, so there might not be campaigns. There might be just policy that encourages employers, employees, and things to do like that. Um, I'll dig around, because we have the CDC has that workplace health screening center, but it could be policy creates um, incentives for employers to let their workers go at a certain amount of time, at, uh, or for things like that. Um, but these are okay. But let's move to a database that looks at public policy all around the world. So databases, and then the letter P, P-A-I-S. 
I'm going to go to advanced search and try a similar search. So we don't have to do public health or public policy because we're in a public policy database. So let's put this, let's put that in the title. So work-life balance, work ethic, or burnout has to be in the title. We know it's related to public policy. 307. And so we have, there's going to be a lot of evidence that supports campaigns. Oh, workaholism. I didn't think there's, so there's another word we could add to it. Um, it but so let's do, let's modify the search. And if you add college students, I'm going to just add college. College or higher education or student. I think that's going to narrow us down too much. Oh, no, there's still 82. Ooh, study of public affairs faculty. So you might have to go into these and glean what people are talking about. Um, because this is the evidence that people will use to fund campaigns with. Um, as an example, just briefly, let's see if there's any laws and legislation. Um, there's another database, <laughs> yet another one, called Nexus Uni. So legislation typically funds um, campaigns and things like that. It's not arbitrary, but it's kind of like drawn out that way. So Nexus Uni allows us to look at um, United States stuff. So let's go back. Let's look specifically at that. Um, and then let's look in legal. Administrative codes, materials, briefings. Oh, oh statutes and legislation. Oh, cool. They do have other stuff. Now, Hong Kong, New Zealand, we're close to China. Um, let's just look at US legislation. And let's see if there's anything in a title that talks about this. So legislation would preclude any initiatives like campaigns. Do, 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 do. It's 26. Work ethic camp program. Oh, this is so sentencing. Um, <laughs> This is like, uh, like community service or like getting um, federal funding for uh, like housing or food assistance. You have to prove that you're working. Um, so this might not be what we're looking for. I don't think in the United States they might be looking at something that encourages somebody necessarily. Oh, but here we have one. Hello, we found one. U.S. federal bill from 2010. This looks like one of the more promising ones. Um, a bill to establish work-life balance award for employers that have developed policies. So it could be that we're not at the campaign level yet. Um, but <laughs> work-life balance. So that makes me want to go back to the Google. Work-life balance and just type in campaign. Oh, there's an employee one. Run. How do you promote a pol policy? How do you advertise? There's an anesthesia group. So I'm guessing anesthetists. <laughs> How to do it yourself, on and off the clock. So. It, does this make sense? Are we looking at things that you've already looked at before? Let me show you another database um, that might give us um, one last gasp at finding something in um, that's existed as a campaign. So if we go to sociology, my favorite one is sociological abstracts right at the top. Oh, and it imported my search. I want to call it an advanced search anyway. So let's see. And on this one, let's do policy or law or camp 
campaign. And this is looking at countries all over the place. Suspense is killing me. Uh, sometimes this, this database in particular chokes. Let me grab that. Come on, sociological abstracts. Yay! Oh, there's prison and work ethic. Kazakhstan's modernization. Employment, job tur oh, job turnover. There might be something where they, it's bad for a business, but I don't know if it would be like a, a government intervention. Productivist policies. Oh, that's interesting. That's what I was talking about before. If you have people that are meant to be really productive, then they're not going to be home having kids. Teacher burnout in Chile. So there's a lot of case studies of examples of things happening, uh, but I'm not seeing any policies or laws or campaigns. Let's modify and have that be one of the most important things. <laughs> Again with prison. So I want this to be in the title then. Do, 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 do. There we go, document title. And I want this to be in the abstract. So when you when you put it in those segments, it narrows down the search. 127. Life policies. How the ideal worker shapes perceptions of policy legitimacy and use. In Quebec. Higher ed. Family planning. There that comes again. Child care policy. Oh. Okay. I'm going to ask around with my colleagues and see if they can find anything, but I think we might have found um, a precedence that there might not be a lot of campaigns because they conflict with productivity, which is one of those economic indicators of a country's success and, and its credit rating and things like that. Um, but I will ask around, um, but dig around starting with these things and some of the resources that you've already looked at um, and see if this doesn't help. And if you need to change your um, the, the angle of your assignment, it might be that you have to do something like that. So it might be like promotion of having children would be a great analog. Um, so in, in China and Japan, like I said, Ireland, maybe the United States, um, there's a lot of countries that are having negative population growth. And so they have to start figuring out how are they going to get people to have kids and things like that. Um, so if that's the direction you want to go, maybe talk with your instructor. Um, but I'll be in touch.